What's up, Trevor? Okay. Well, question, what were you asking? What, what's what going on? Why, 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 who? After you get it running, don't you got to get the other seat for We got to get the upholstery done. I told you the upholstery guy has a seat, bud. We now, we're working, what are we working on today? What's kind of car? We got to get the poster. What's the poster? That's the interior. Where's it at? Upholstery and interior are the same thing. We got to get out. Let me the interior me. guy's got the seat so you can match up the material. So what are we mean, working on today, bud? Really? I meant I went when we told you everything running on there. We got to get the whole car running and driving. Got to get the doors hung back on and there's What's the... What's on that? We'll do the seat last. What are we working on? Trevor, Willies. what is it? 1951 Willys. A 19 what? 50 Willys. A 1951? Yeah. A 41. 41. 41. Yeah. Okay, what are we trying to do today? Try to make it run. Okay. We got all the AC lines, all the heater hoses, all hooked up. Okay, so everything's connected there. If you come inside the dash, you'll see that they're all hooked up. That looks great. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, go ahead and do that. So, what we did is the owner wanted the stainless steel radiator hose, if you look down here. So I bought a special kit that comes with two of them. Now, I don't know whose plan this was or who's designed this was or who was even thinking of this but the radiator doesn't even have a fucking uh, radiator filler neck on it if you look at it there's no way to put fucking water in it so the only way to design that we need that what is that that's our inch and a half in inside diameter inch and a half hose if you wait a minute I'll tell you when to get it out okay all right just stand right there with the parts because you see right now you're gonna be the parts display guy that means when I say get the hose out you're gonna hold it and you're gonna turn it around for me and show everybody okay so what we gotta do now is if you look right here, and that's made by Moroso. What's up, buddy? We're not working on the steering today, Trevor. You guys can raise it. Uh, it's probably in the trunk. Oh. Okay. See, we're working on the, this right now. Do you wanna get the car running today, sir? Yes, sir. Would you like to hear that thing thumping and thumping? Yes. Okay. So what we got here, if you look right there, this is a Moroso product, okay? And what it is, it's an inline filler neck, okay? Now, these are used on a lot of race cars. They're used on AC Cobra kit cars. And if you have a Willys that doesn't have a tilt front end, I can kind of see you using it on that because the radiator is stuck way up underneath. So what we got to do is we got to take this over to our saw. We got to cut that off and install that right there, Trevor. Are you looking at what we're doing here, bud? Okay, that's called a filler tube. See, you have to have that on there to put your water in, because if you don't, what happens? It just won't run, because you won't have no water in it. So then what we got to do is, this is actually our overflow uh, area right here. Uh, I'm debating whether to cap that off, which I think I might not. I don't know. I'm going to have to cap that off. Yeah, we're, we don't want that there, because that's just going to heat up and go over there. We don't want that. So I'm gonna cap that off. I'm gonna have to give me another hose or add on to this hose and come over here so we can get to right here, bud. Do you see what I'm saying? How are you gonna make do that? I'm gonna have to make it come around here and bring it all the way over here. So that kind of screwed us, bud. That kind of screwed us around. It kind of screwed us and jerked us and, you know, uh, jerked us around because they did that. I didn't do that. Do what, bud? Charlie show me. So I don't understand. Touch and feel and show, bud. What are you talking about? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that hose. I'm gonna get a plug for that. That'll be plugged off. Then what I'm gonna do is when this is in here like that, I'm gonna put that hose over here, see? Okay? Is that thing good right there gonna go through right there, right here? That goes right there, exactly. But now we gotta buy some more hose. Why, can you just not stretch them across there? So okay, everything's hooked up and ready. The only thing I gotta do is tighten down the distributor. The distributor's real loose. And once I do that, I think it's gonna run, bud. Hopefully, we gotta put gas in the gas tank. Let's go ahead and get this fixed first, okay? We gotta cut that on my tape, my uh, chop saw over there, so we gotta take this whole hose off, and then we'll fit that in there. I got some other hose, if you can show everybody. Where's our hose at, bud? Now this is the type of hose that you wanna use, what Trevor's gonna show us. 
That's an inch and a half if you can hold that straight with both hands just like that. Okay, that's an inch and a half inside diameter. Do you know what inside diameter means? That means inside here. Okay, if you measure from the inside wall to the inside wall, that's inch and a half, not from outside to outside. So ID means inside diameter. OD means what? Inside. OD means? Outside. Outside. Inside means, ID means? Outside. Inside. So if you see on here, it doesn't say anything, because naturally it's just an inch and a half. So if you see something that says I, D before the number, that means inside. So what we're going to do is I got the top one on. Now if you notice, I put the chrome ends around the neck. Since this is hidden up in there, I'm going to use the, uh, I'm not going to use the chrome end that comes with it. You know what I'm saying, Trevor? So let me see if I can slip this on here. There we go. And then this goes in here, like this. On there. Great. There it is. Okay. This is going to be kind of tricky, bud. You know why? Because we got a... We got a belt right there. It's going to be a pain in the ass. It's about an inch away, so it might work. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten all those up. It should look okay. It looks like it's going to work okay. What do you think, Trevor? You think it might work? It's always important to make sure you have very, very good clamps on this situation, sir. You know why? Because if the clamps are loose, what's going to happen when that water gets hot and starts boiling? It's going to blow. It's going to blow like a bomb. So what we gotta do is we gotta get a clamp on there that is sure to hold. Do not use the cheap clamps. Cheap clamps will break. Cheap, clamp, cheap clamps are cheap, okay? Now, I know these are good clamps because... Piece of hose. Shit. Now we lost our perfect funnel. Okay, we got our filler neck on, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out. I've already put, I've already put radiator fluid and antifreeze in this. No, I'm sorry, antifreeze and water in this through the uh, filler, the overflow tube here. So I'm gonna go ahead and. No. Yeah, I don't know. I was using it right here. I don't know where it went, bud. If I knew where it went, I would be using it. But I really don't need it in this situation. Look. No, it's not. It's a funnel. A black, long funnel. Yes, that's it, bud. Well, I don't need it now. Thank you. Okay, let me get this filled up. I'm gonna get some gas in it. When I get back, we're gonna go ahead and put the exhaust flanges on it. And what the fuck's going on? Was it great? Thank you very much, Trevor. Did you find it? Where was it laying? Show me again, bud. Okay, and I was looking all over the shop for it, wasn't I? For nothing. Okay, are we ready to get this thing running? Then let's get her done! Bye.